We're joined now by head coach Karen Aston. Coach, what was your reaction when you found out NECA's career at Texas was done? Well, first of all, disappointed for our team and, and then in particular disappointed for NECA because you never want to see a senior's career end early like, like what happened last night. And, you know, she's grown so much uh, as, a, as a player and, and as a person at Texas and in particular as a leader that, you know, you, your heart goes out to her. She was playing such good basketball her senior year. What has NECA meant to this team? Well, she's, she's been the heart and soul of our team, um, you know, just from leading by example. Uh, you know, she's a player that comes in every day and, and gives it everything that she has, and I think that's, a, you know, it, it clearly reflects that in the games uh, on the court, that she is a player with a high motor and a high desire to be successful. And, and any time you lose a player like that, then, you know, it, it's, it's a blow. There's, there's no question about it be, just because of her leadership skills. Your team is ranked eighth in the country, still fighting for a Big 12 title. How do you replace your senior leader at this point in the season? Well, it would have to be collective. I don't, I don't think we can ask one player to fill her shoes. Uh, you know, I think you have to look at the entire team, and we all need to look inside and see how we can do better collectively as a group. And you know, when, when you talk about how much she brings to the table from an energy standpoint and from a rebounding standpoint, then I don't think that there's one person that can that can do the job that she was doing. I think it's going to have to be collective. I think the team is going to have to rally and, and everybody decide to do a better job at whatever their job is, and it can definitely be done. Uh, you know, you see it happen all the time where teams rally and you see people step up, and that's what – the University of Texas is all about is to have quality individuals that when their number is called, they're ready. And, and we've, you know, we, we've got to do this as a collective group. Well, her time on the court is done as a Texas Longhorn, but how can NECA still help this team? Well, she can always be an example as far as the knowledge that she's gained about, in particular, league play, which is what we're in right now. I mean, she, you have somebody that will still be in practice every day and, and, be at the games and be able to share her knowledge. Um, you know, I, I can reflect back on when Imani was out just because Imani's knowledge of the game, uh, you know, she was helpful in, in game situations where she could talk to Kelsey, and this is one of those situations where NECA can basically become a coach, and she can coach the post players and help them with some of the things that they do in practice and in particular, you know, game settings where we're in timeouts and when they come to the bench, She'll be a perfect example of someone who can, who can definitely coach uh, just because she's had so much experience at Texas. Coach, it's amazing you're still in the top ten with all the injuries this team has had this year, <laughs> but they're still fighting. Thank you so much for joining us on a very tough day for Texas basketball. Well, thank you. I appreciate it.